Shalom. 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 We are the Hebrew Israelites. You know, welcome to a sit down. Lord willing, it's edifying, and we're going to get into the times that we're living in. You know, this is this is the time of the return of our Lord and Savior, Harba Shemir right? Shalom. First of all, I want to say uh, Shalom once again. Shalom. I'll pray down our glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh of honors to the apostles and elders of Great Goldstone, peace, blessings, salutations to the hope of that scattered abroad. And uh, once again, we're going to get into prophecy, okay? Because uh, we are in some serious times. If you look at the events that are happening in the world right now, you know, a lot of this is going over people's heads. They, don't, they, aren't, they aren't paying attention. You see people getting ready for this next, what so-called holiday, 4th of July. You know, gas prices are up, you know, food shortages, Famine, pestilence, wars, rumors of wars, the war to end of all, end all wars, Armageddon, right? That's in the, in, in, happening in the distance right now. It's all being set up in the end of all be all, the war to end of all wars. And we know that Esau, Edom, the leaders of the nation of Idumia, mm -hmm. right? They have their agenda, right? And especially you other uh, camps out there that are leading the flock astray. And you women, you're going to catch some serious tribulation. Because you are full of mirth. All you know how to do is have a good time. Shake it up. Gimmicks, frills, and emotions. You know? Girls just want to have fun. That's it. That, you know, that's what the world says right there. All right? And we are we are in the time of famine of the word as well. Jacob's trouble. Right here. We we are we are fortunate to actually witness this coming to pass. We are seeing it. Hopefully we are of those elect men because we are out there on the highways and the hedges doing our lessons and having faith in the Most High Yehovah Shem Shai in these latter times. And we are in these latter times. Can somebody start with the uh, Second Ezra 15 for me please at the top. I got this is Second Ezra chapter 15 starting at the top. <clears throat> Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And prophecy, what is that? That is the spirit of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yoshai, the spirit of prophecy. You know, and this is what probably none, I can't confirm or deny it because I don't go to church, but the way it looks, the church houses are not going into prophecy as they should be. You know, leading their congregations astray. But, but then again, as the scripture tells us, if this gospel be hid, it is hidden to them that are lost. Mm -hmm. Paraphrase. Go ahead, brother. It reads, yeah. <clears throat> which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. They are faithful and true. We are seeing prophecies come to pass. You know, the our elders and apostles of GMS that have been out there for over 30 years. They've been warning, warning the people, warning Israel, warning the world, pretty much, of what's going on. And it is coming to pass. We are in those days. This is how we measure thou the time diligently in itself as we filter uh, events of the world through the scriptures. And it's right here, faithful and true. This is the cheat code right here. Go ahead, bro. And what, and what is it? It's written in paper. Written in paper. These scrolls, so-called, the, the, these scrolls right here. Bible. The Bible. And the water of Hashem Yahushua for giving us the understanding, the wisdom and knowledge, and the truth of these scriptures right now. We need that. What does the scripture tell us? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Oh. Everyone else is falling on what? Fear. And up until this point, we've been training. Training in this book right here. Now it's time for the test. Oh. We have to prepare for death. Mass death. People are going to be dropping like flies right now mm -hmm. out of fear, out of not understanding what they need to do, how they need to move, mm -hmm. because for one, they're moving in the flesh. 
and the flesh and the spirit are contrary one to another. If I may add, you know, scriptures say those that are wander out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the, of the dead. dead. That's right. And that's both spiritually and physically. Mm -hmm. and spiritually first, but it's going it's gonna to begin to manifest, you know, on the mm -hmm. carnal side. You know? mm -hmm. Go ahead, Abby. And this is going into that, that, that spirit of prophecy, you know, because what we're doing now, like the brother said, you know, we're out on the highway and they're just calling you in, you know. If you hear this, you know, and you join on to this, you, you know, because we're in a bad time right now. But, you know, just going off that, that word of prophecy, you know, this is uh, Revelation 19, and I'm going to start at verse, uh, verse 9, and it reads, And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he and uh, he said unto me, These are the, the true, these are the true sayings of Masha Yahweh Yahweh. Verse 10 it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it, do it not. I am I am thy fellow servant, and and of my brethren that I have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, worship God, for the testimony of, of, of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right, brother. Mm -hmm. The spirit yeah. of prophecy. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this is what our apostles and elders on down have been doing for over 30 years, and this is what we are charged to do right now. This is the work. We, we must do the work for revelation to come to pass. We are speaking these things in existence. And we, at this time, we must have faith. Our faith is going to be tested right now because our families, our so-called friends, so-called people that we know, they, they are pretty much a balloon over a cactus right now. They're ready to pop. They don't know what's going on. They don't understand what's going on. They're chasing mirth. And you women, once again, you're going to catch a lot of tribulation right now because you've spoken against men of the Lord. You played your games all your tactics, all your strategies, just to get gain with uh, your uh, your carnality, you know, because the scripture tells us that the, the, the Heavenly Father had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding. So, you know, that's a whole other topic, but you are included in Jacob's trouble. And all of you Israelite men, you are included as well. Right. Out here <clears throat> hanging out, you know, doing your abominable lifestyles, you know, partaking in these pagan foreign ritual holidays or holidays as we call them. Right. You are not serving the Lord, and that is what you are supposed to do as an Israelite man. Serve the Heavenly Father. Can uh, something up? Yeah, if I may add real quick, you know, like to be lying back in off the brother. You know, Jake out here got down in the house of murder. You know, Jake can discern, you know, different things as far as like they, they, they can put a guess in and tell you who who gonna have the album of the year, or or, or right. who gonna win the the, the 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 Super Bowl, or state championship, and all these different things? But when it comes to these scriptures, Jake can't discern it. Man. Can't discern it, bro. You know why? Because they are spiritually discerned, man, and they 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 have no knowledge, man. They have no understanding, nor do they want understanding of the scriptures, man. Because like like the brother was saying, like they're in the house of murder. They also was gonna be their downfall. Also, they being ignorant, man. Ignorant goes into not not knowing, not wanting to know, man. You know, because it's been told to you, stoning our apostles and elders on down to his younger brother that's preach, preaching his word, true faith, sincerity, man. You know, it's been it's being told to you, not by our words. We, hey, we constantly say that, man. Through the spirit and power, y'all by Shem Yahweh and constantly show that, man, because we come out the scriptures, and I got a preach that it's a little lengthy, but it's gonna get straight into it. This is um, Luke twelve and forty nine. I have come to send fire on the earth, the Shahawah Shah. And what will I if it be already kindled? Hey, the fire is kindled already because before you start a big fire, you have to kindle it. Mm -hmm. You have to start a little fire. And we see the prophecies jumping off. We see the beginning of famine. We, we see the beginning of, of civil unrest. We see the beginning of the MOTB. You know, we see all the beginnings of these things, man. We see the beginning of Jacob's trouble, man. You know, so the Lord has already killed that fire, man. You know, and we the ones that stuck, you know, man, it's been lit. Lord already struck that. Mm -hmm. So it's now it's more, it's more, hey, it's detrimental to your, if you really 
care about your, your family or your life, man, you're going to get right with your outbox, shit, your outbox, shout, man. Care about your life first and foremost, then your family, man. You know, you're going to get right, man, but I'm going to keep breathing. We said, but I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I strengthened till it be accomplished, man? So the Lord let me know, it's a, hey, the Lord about to baptize this earth, man. And we know what bapti baptism means, what? A cleansing, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord's about to cleanse this earth and these people, man, these nations, man. You know? The elect, we going through that, 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 that spiritual baptism now, man, that fire, that furnace of affliction. That fire of adversity, man. Being washed by this word, man. You know, two-thirds, they're going to have to get that literal baptism, that fire, that, that second death. Mm -hmm. These heathens, they're going to have to get the, the, the second death and get baptized in the kingdom, man. Putting that hell, that affliction, man, on their ass in slavery, man. You know? It says, suppose ye that I have come to give peace on the earth. Mm -hmm. I tell you, nay, no. But rather division. So the Lord gonna divide the sheep from the goat as you go into the, I think it's uh, uh Isaiah the 13th chapter. No, 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 not that. But that's that's a good one too. But going into Isaiah the 13th chapter where he, where he say he basically gonna divide the the uh, he gonna put the goats on one side, the lambs, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, on this side. But it. you kind of not, but I'm keep going. It says for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. So the Lord let you know it's going to be a remnant of the elect and it's, it's going to be a big division. It's going to be more of the elect. Well, it's going to be, so like, it's going to be more of two thirds and people that don't believe than it will be of the remnant, man, the small, minute number, man. It says, The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter. So that goes into what the Lord says he's not a respect of a person, man. That's right. You know? It says, and you can't put, that's why the Lord said, if you love him, you can't, if, if, hey, if you truly serve the Lord, you can't, you can't put, you can't love your, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your children, your uncle, your, your, your auntie, your nieces and nephew, just roughly paraphrasing, mm -hmm. your grandma and your grandpa more than him. You can't love yourself more than him, man, because he gave you the life, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck what they say to your mom or your dad. The Lord used them as best to get you help, man. Mm -hmm. But your spirit, the Lord created your spirit. He created your body, man, but he just used that canal, you know what I'm saying, through through the penis, into the goddamn, to that woman, on the bottom of that, to birth you into this world, man. The Lord did all that, but shit, the Lord created them, created them, the cre Lord created everything, man. So all praise and honor and glory go to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Sure. So you can't put nothing before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And yes, it might seem hard and all that, your, your woman, your children, your mother, you can't put none of that before your Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Hell, if you can't put yourself before your Yahweh Yahweh Shah, how much everything else outside of yourself, man? Mm -hmm. It says, all right, it says, the verse 53, it says, the father shall be divided against the son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, when ye see a cloud rise out of the west straightway, ye say, there comes a shower, and so it is. Man, you can discern right down when it's about to rain. You know, you see certain things on TikTok, oh, well, shit, or you see certain rappers come out with an album, you can, oh, shit, he about to get this, he about to get that, oh, I, I know who's going to be at the Grammys. And shit, I know who's going to be up for the new NFL draft, because what they talking about, you you watching the wrong, you're not watching prophecy. You watch. You watching Esau's agenda for you to even put your vote in and say, "Well, he's gonna be the third round draft pick, second. Oh, he's gonna be fourth. Look how. Look at his workout. Oh, he's gonna knock such and such out. Look how he trained. Look at how old buddy trained. Look at who he got in his, his corner. His trainer showing him this. You know, that's you discerning. Goddamn, what Esau wants you to discern. You stuck in that fucking trap. But when it comes to these prophecies, and we tell him, look. All these different things, natural things that's been made unnatural. Mm -hmm. We talk like you see two men together, man. That's the unnatural. end. Unnatural. You know about Sodom and Gomorrah. Your parents know. Mm -hmm. You done heard about the story. You know. But when we tell you like, man, it's all over again. Oh man, we worried about that. We worried about this right here on TV, entertainment, it's sports trash. news. And one thing, uh, real quick. You know that just goes to show that wisdom is no longer here. Right. You know. It tells us in uh, Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter, 
the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Done. That's where the men of the Lord are. Right. Because the heart is made better Done. through sorrow, right? But the heart of fools is in the house of what? Mur Just what you're talking about. Mur Entertainment. Entertainment. Mur Yep. Living life to the fullest. Yep. YOLO. YOLO. All that stuff that has no. You only live to, once. Right. You only live once. And, and that's what that's where that's where the bulk of Israel is, man. Right. Mm -hmm. On mirth. Trying to build somewhere. And then, kind of, so you got to go ahead, you know, go trying to build somewhere where they, they don't have no continuing city. Right. You know, we're supposed to be as pilgrims just passing through. Uh -huh. And if I'm mad, you got Jakes that say Lolo, YOLO. Right. And, and you, you only live once. You ask them what YOLO means. Oh, uh, YOLO. But you, you just fucking heard it said, and you just said, you only live once. But you don't know what it means. Simple. It ain't simple, man. It says, do uh, so you have something? I was going to say, monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do. It says, verse 55, it says, and when ye see the south wind blow, ye say there will be heat. And it comes to pass. You can tell me when it's going to be high brain and all these old different things. You can tell me well, who's going to win this and who's going to win me that. Win, well, not win me, but win that. Who's going to win the Super Bowl and all that. But you can't tell when the Lord about to return. You, you can't tell the destruction that's on this place. Fuck, the, the economy has been shit. The money ain't worth shit. Inflation is going up. Disease has is, is went up. Uh, 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 homosexuality, wickedness, pedophilia, all that shit is just going up. Robots to... taking over your job, going up. So you don't see this as the end? And but you can, you, can, you can tell me when it's going to rain. Yeah. Right? You, can, you can tell me who going to win the Super Bowl, what team going to win the fucking Super Bowl, mm -hmm. who going to get drafted, who going to have the best album this year, who going to get uh, nominated, not even but just get nominated. Who going to get a fucking Grammy? Ooh. You can tell me all these different things, but you can't even discern the... Go ahead. It's like, you can't even tell you who the Israelites is. That's you right, can't right. even tell. You, 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 you don't even know who the Israelites is, man. Uh -huh. And it, That's it, fucking it, sad, man. It's a lot of people. You got it. You got it, bro. And, and to show you how stupid, you know, just, just a, a ground zero testimony. Somebody was coming out of the gas station the other day, had a carton of cigarettes, but he was complaining about the gas prices. <laughs> he said, man, this gas is too damn high. But had a big, ass carton, big ass carton of cigarettes, which is about 60 bucks. Right. You could spend that on gas. Right. <laughs> you see, and we, we, we are in those times, man, look. Just, just as this big, big uh, uh, gold uh, was found Uganda. in Uganda, yeah. you know, just when you thought, you know, everything was done, hey, the Lord showed us, hey, that 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 gold was found for the elect, right? That gold was yeah. found, you know, in the spirit, right, right, to build up the kingdom. Come on, so let's we get that right. And what they said it was worth like twelve point six million trillion, 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 trillion dollars, yeah, one hundred thirty some ton, uh, thirteen some. Yeah, 131 tons or something like that. Yeah. No, 300. Yeah. 300 and something on, million I, I don't tons. have the, 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 the numbers right, but it, it, it's huge. It made Uganda one of the richest countries or parts of, of Shit, on the planet, right? Planet. Now, on the planet. Because you because because one ton is two thousand pounds. Right. Mm -hmm. So you multiply uh two 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 thousand times times how, what they say they found? They, they found, found 300 and something million tons. 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 So, yeah, you, you multiply that by what? What, two? Two. Two thousand. Two thousand. By two thousand. And five, shit, five, man, that's how many pounds you got. That's three. a lot. Yeah. You say three million tons? Three hundred million See, I really tons. Somewhere so, man, that don't even, that's six something to the oh, 11 you divide pound. it. That's to you the divide, You divide, you divide, well, you, you, if you want to get the pounds. That you would divide be, it. You would divide it by two thousand if you want to get the pounds. That would be eleven uh, zeros. Eleven zeros. Okay, it was thirty-one million tons. Thirty-one million. Yeah, oh, 30, 31, 31 million tons worth twelve point eight trillion dollars. Eight, tri eight trillion. I was off by yeah. two. Yeah. I thought I said three hundred. Yeah, I wrote it down. Yeah. I, had, I had a precept. Uh, let me finish this real quick. Real quick, Bob. Uh, it says, um, verse 56, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth. You know, the things in it, you can discern that down with such who going to win the Super Bowl and all that. You can discern all these different things. You can discern it's going to rain. You can discern all this. Get, well, it's getting close to dark. It's going to get dark about 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Simple shit, carnal shit. It says, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, 
but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Mm -hmm. It says, yeah, and why even of yourself judge ye not what is right? You don't even judge what's right amongst yourselves, man. You, you men pleasing all these different things, you man. You you're not a judging you according. You you being respectful of a person. The Lord said He's not a respectful person. Right. This what this was standing. It says, when thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate, as thou art in the way, give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him. Least he hail thee to judge to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. Meaning, hey, shit, be wise. Be wise, all right? It says, I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence till thou hast paid the very last might. Meaning, hey, the Lord, what the Lord has given you, the talents that the Lord has given you, that might is, is a small, is, is a payment, small payment. Mm -hmm. So the Lord said, hey, hey you ain't, you, you ain't going to get up out of that. Get up, we ain't going to get up out of it until we have paid that last, that last might. Mm -hmm. Meaning, we have, hey, the, 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 talent, the talents that the Lord has given us, what the Lord said, hey, man, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Mm -hmm. And they, the Lord said he ain't going to put too much on us that we can't bear, man. But through temptation, he's going to make a way for what? Us to just be delivered. To, to get up out of that, man. So we're going to have, hey, the elect shall scarcely be saved. Being a small loan, but we're going to go through hell to get to that, uh, to that hell of tribulation to get to that kingdom. Through much tribulation. Through much tribulation. There you go. Go ahead. Right? Through much tribulation shall we inherit the kingdom. You know, you know what? You know, roughly paraphrasing uh, roughly um, summing up what the brother was going into, man. You know, and we're we we're, we're in some uh, depleted times, and as far as resources and things of that nature, you know, our families and our people that we care about, whatever that that just don't have this truth. You know, don't be surprised if if they end up they, yeah. they end up dead somewhere. I mean, you you, you got to let it go. You know, and, and we're coming into a time right now. There there are particular pol police departments that are not even responding to calls. That they deem serious enough because of because of the gas prices, uh, it's affecting these police departments. So right now, through wisdom, you know, uh, it will be who of us that are in the truth. Uh, you know, we can we can use this wisdom that the Heavenly Father gives us because it tells us in Ecclesiastes the sixth, a seventh chapter, and the what is that? The tenth verse, I believe it is. Uh, Eleven, twelve. Yeah, 12th verse, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense, right? So it's not, you're not going off if you buy some extra water, right? some extra canned goods, right? right? So wisdom is a defense, money is, is a defense. If you have it and you know that these prices are going to be double, tripled, or quadrupled in the next month, why not get a little something extra? Right. It all boils down to faith. It all boils down to the faith you have in the heavenly father, right? But the excellency of knowledge, right? The excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth like to them that have it. Mm -hmm. So wisdom and money is a defense. Mm -hmm. But don't think that money is going to save you. Mm -hmm. Right, because what is the spiritual first? The spiritual first. So wisdom. Wisdom. And then money. And then money. Mm -hmm. So, so you if you got the wisdom to use it wisely, uh -huh. right? So go ahead and get you some extra stuff. You know, but it boils down to our faith because we are in that time where, hey, things are going to be very scarce. You know, we and, and we are going to be like it tells us in Isaiah what, 65 and what is that? 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, power, behold, my servants shall eat, mm -hmm. but ye shall have. I'm sorry, ye shall be hungry. We will eat because we have his wisdom. For one, we're going to eat spiritually and we're going to eat nutritionally. Right? But ye shall be hungry, right? Behold, my servants shall drink. drink still drinking this truth. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. All of you that scoffed and scorned and put down the truth. You know, when you had liberty to get it, when you had liberty to repent and clean yourselves up, you're going to be the ones ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart Come. because you're, you're, you're in fear, because you don't have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You don't fear the Heavenly Father. Come. That's why you're going to be ashamed. Mm -hmm. That's why you're going to be crying for sorrow of heart mm -hmm. and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Come. You, you, you 
going to be confused. You're going to be jacked up, bugged out up here in the damn head. And our confidence is coming through faith in the Heavenly Father. I got you. I'm going to show you this mm -hmm. real quick. Just to back the brother, man. This um, Matthews 4 and 4. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High, man. Just going to that faith, man. That's what's going to keep us in these times, man. Like, yeah, like a brother going into, you know, yeah, you got if you got the means to do it, do it, man. But ultimately, you know, laying back on the brother, ultimately is your faith and your how and your fear and your how by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's that's right. what's gonna sustain you because with that, the Lord is gonna provide everything that you need, man. Right. Because what the Lord is saying, uh, also in Matthew, well shit, he basically like, you know, see the 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 the, the, the ground, it it, it toils and you know what I'm saying, but don't nobody tell it, you know, basically rough Roughly paraphrase like the birds, they 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 eat and make houses. You know what I'm saying? Are Don't have to work. Are you not better? Just roughly paraphrase. Are you not better than them? Mm -hmm. So the Lord basically letting know He got us. But all we gotta do is be fearful and faithful. And y'all about shit, y'all was shot and shit. Everything else, the Lord gonna stretch it out for us, man. That's right. You bro. know. And, and let me get these real quick. All right. This this is this is twofold. You know, confidence in, in the Lord. It tells us in Proverbs, the third chapter, and 26, For the Lord, Yahweh, shall be thy confidence, mm -hmm. and shall keep thy feet or foot from being taken. Yep. We're not going to slip and fall in this time. Right. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, it's going to affect us, right, in the flesh, but with this wisdom and knowledge and understanding and fear of the Lord, we are going to, we're going to snap back and recover because mm -hmm. of the confidence is in the Lord. Yep. And in the fear of the Lord, is strong confidence yep. once again in Proverbs 14 right and his children shall have a place of refuge like it goes into Psalms 91 that hidden place mm -hmm. that we're supposed to hide that's supposed to abide by that secret place I got one right for you I've been talking real quick nah, okay good I'm good yeah. not gonna... yeah, this is Psalms 9 and 9 mm -hmm. you know going to you break it down bro this is Psalm 9 and 9, the Lord will also be a refuge mm -hmm. for the oppressed. Mm -hmm. Refuge for, for the oppressed. Go ahead, more on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, real quick, and, 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 and to back that up, it tells us in Psalms 124 and 8, where is our help? In the name mm -hmm. of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Shah. And those that run into it, it's a strong tower, right? Are, are safe. Uh -huh. We're safe with that. You don't know the name, you don't have wisdom and knowledge to be stable in these times of the scriptures mm -hmm. through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, once again, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh he is, and his only begotten son, who the world incorrectly calls Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai. That name is included in the Father's name. That's right. The deliverer, the savior. Mm -hmm. You see? Go ahead, huh? It says, a refuge in times of trouble. A refuge in times of trouble. Verse 10. And they that know thy name mm -hmm. will put their trust but in the thee. But the names don't matter, though. Oh, but the names don't matter. And, and, and surely the pressure maker for wise man mad. A wise man. Right. The only name that don't matter is your name. Alright. Oh, there is power in these names. Mm. You know, and all of us is uh, witness and, and witnesses to that. Um, this is verse 10. Uh, it reads, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for the for thou, Yahweh, uh, Shem Yahweh Shai, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Mm -hmm. That's it. You see, you know, it boils down to our faith, like, like the scriptures told us that wisdom and money is a defense. You got to have both. But you ultimately have to have fear in the Heavenly Father, you know, how much you That's where your confidence is going to be. you got to have faith. That's the only way to please Him. Mm -hmm. And when you please Him, when your ways please the Lord, He's going to make yeah, cause you make you have, have peace with even your enemies. And, and that's that's on a, that scale, as well as other tribulations in the world. Mm -hmm. Because we have understanding of what's going on. We know how to navigate and move in the Spirit. Real quick, this is Proverbs uh, 14. And 27, the fear of the Lord Yahweh is a fountain of life. Depart from the snare to depart from the snares of death. And we are in a time of death. Death is right here, coming right here 
to Mystery Babylon, Baby London, Spiritual Sodom and Egypt, where the dead bodies lie. Mm -hmm. Concerning what? Proverbs 11 and 8. And that's where we're at. All these food shortages, all these cows being found dead, all these food refineries burning down, you know, tens, hundreds of them. So it's been running for years. But not been running for years. Now, now, now it's down. Now the farmers are being... That's a whole other story. Going to with the diesel, like, hey, just land back off the butter, like, shit, they can't get diesel to run those different machines to, to, to get the, the, the vegetables and different the fruits and shit off right. the ground. Right. And what's going to do is going to go to waste. They ain't going to pay the damn shit. The diesel, these trucks, okay, if they do, they pay for the diesel to put in the machines to, to cultivate the land. You know, to, well, not cultivate, because cultivate is putting it down. To um, basically, you know, tear, to get it up, get the crops and harness. shit up. Harness. There you go, harness. The crops. Okay, what about the diesel being so expensive for the ones? Okay, that come and get it. Distribute it. Distribute it. The trucks. Right. Uh -huh. Man, is, this place is finished, man. It's just like we were saying. Huh? The particular police departments can't. They're not even answering calls. Yep. Because of the gas. They right have there. to make. Our, we can't answer these calls. We. This is more important, so we're gonna use the gas on that. Mm -hmm. Right. And then it's gonna come a point where they're not even gonna go out anyway. They're just sitting there with the lights on. I mean, shit, you can already see that. Shit, we've been, been peeped, man. We, uh, and, and, and Jake, they will, you call, they, because you could tell, you could distinguish the, the voice between the Jake. Right. You know, yeah. by the speech, by the tone. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know, from an Edomite, goddammit. Shit, Jake, they taking 30 minutes to get to your shit. Esau, by the time you hang that phone up, you, shit, you, you count to 120. Well, they pull it up. Uh, they pulling up. I'm already in the area. I'm already in the area. Oh, I'm already in the area. Yep. Yeah. Hey, yeah. next thing they're going to be asking you, uh, you know, you, 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 you can tell them, look, I'm white. You know, you got to come here. Well, well, give me a Barry Manilow or something. <laughs> to prove. That to makes prove. it. To prove. And they ain't putting that shit in the movies and right. shit for no right. fucking right. reason. Cool. 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 You know, 911 is a joke. Oh, uh, he for real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> right, bro. Hey, so so we're in that time of death. Let me get this scripture real quick. Right. This is Joel, the second chapter. And 31. I think that's 31. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Therefore, the great and the terrible day of the Lord Yahweh come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the and Lord Yahweh. We're talking about, about Israel. Talking about Israel. Like, none of this all-inclusive stuff. So, just, you know, get out of here with that. Mm -hmm. Whosoever shall call upon the, uh, the, the Lord Yahweh shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord Yahweh has said. And in the remnant whom the Lord Yahweh shall call. The remnant. The men right now that are serving him. The, the remnant of Israel that are coming back in this grace period, repenting and cleaning themselves up, offending less, having faith, fearing the heavenly Father Yahweh Shemi Shai, and calling upon those names. The remnant. This is not going to be like first, like 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 Exodus, like coming out of Egypt with everybody. Right. But this is basically the same thing, but we're not coming back for all of you to, to screw it up now. We, right. we, we, we're we going to get the people, we're going to get the Israelite men who are serious. Right. The Israelite men, women, and children who are serious. Right. You know, for that deliverance. To come back to that power. Hey, because just laying back and off, of, um, I remember what you was talking about a while back, a few times, about the movie Exodus. Right. You know, you picked the meat from the bones. Right. But just going back to it, of course, with the scriptures, what, what Moses said to Pharaoh shit, not one on the movie in particular that I remember because I just recently watched it again. Mm -hmm. He said not, he, he told him shit, not one Hebrew child died. That's right, bro. But all through Egypt, you heard hollers, it's screaming and yeah. shit, but not one, he told him not one Hebrew child died tonight. Just go. Yeah. Yeah. But that pride kicked in like, nah, right. I gotta get these motherfuckers. Right, I gotta go get them. I gotta go get them. So what happened? Yup. It's just like, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, hardened Pharaoh's heart mm -hmm. is happening today. Yo, modern day, yo. Modern day, he's, he's hardening the heart of all these so-called leaders of these, these countries and, and armies and whatever to, to put the spirit on them to fight yo. and, and, and not, and, hey, the controversy of Zion. The controversy of Zion. We Zion. still, they, they still got us. And what the scriptures say, that Jake take, 
Hey, the, the rage of a, the jealousy of a man. Is the re- jealousy is the, the rage, rage of a man. man. Why turn back in the day of vengeance? And what we all, the Lord compared spiritual is, is, is us, Israel being his bride. And he's being bride. Like a bridegroom. Yeah. So shit, what they doing to his people? We've been seized. Being raped. Been, man. Taken. You know? So that, that's where we're at. So prepare for mass death. Prepare for the, for, for the times to come. Spiritually. Because if, if you don't have it, if you don't have it spiritually, Nothing's going to save you carnally. You know, yeah. you can be a prepper. You can have an underground bunker. You can have all the water and food in the world. If you don't have any faith, what, what does the scripture say? Confidence in an unfaithful man like a, in a time of trouble. It's like a, like a man with a, a broken, broken tooth, tooth and a, joint, out, a joint out, an ankle out of joint. Yeah, come on, come on. Ooh, that's there. not going to get you anywhere. You, you don't have any faith, man. In Psalms 46, we're going to that, you know, for the gems that, that know they Israelites and all these different things, if you just hearing it and, and taking this, these lessons and these videos for entertainment, you know, or to just, like, you just got it, you know, just to have something to repeat and all that, man, that, hey, like the brothers were getting into, man, this, this, this ain't, this ain't going to, this, this going to be your end, man, because it's all about applying this word, man, Dip, discipline and diligence, that comes with action, that comes mm-hmm. with work, man. You know, you have to work, you have to, with, with discipline, you have to take away from, you know, the flesh in order to increase and promote the spirit, man, within oneself, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, and then uh, diligence is you constantly get being consistent, man, right. and giving your all, man. You know, like shit, boxing, football, any sports, or anything that you, 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 you take a liking to, you're going to give your all to, you're going to give diligence to it, because you're going to be consistent with it. So the same with this truth from discipline and diligence, man. You know, you have to give your all to it to the best of your ability. You got to know yourself, man. Don't lie to yourself. Shit, hey, shit, hey, be on top. Talk to yourself. Hey, as well as you talk to the Lord, we talk about it all the time. You talk to the Lord. You got to let yourself know. Shit, you got to cuss yourself out sometimes, man. You got to examine shit, yourself. Shit, you got to examine yourself, man. You got to know goddamn shit, hey, what it is and what the fuck it ain't. You can't lie to yourself. You, hey, shit, man, look, man, what the fuck I need this for? I want it. What, what you need it for? Oh, you you trying to do it for some shit that don't even matter. Uh, doing it for motherfuckers that don't even give a fuck about you, man. For what? What? what how is that going to help you? How is that going to promote you and grow you? You got to you gotta weigh all these things in the balance, man. That that comes with you what? It, the, like the brother just said, man. Examining yourself daily, man. Mm-hmm. Slowing down thinking, man. Don't be so quick to be rash to... To just move rash with your mouth, man. Sit and think. Yeah. Examine, man. If you can sit there and watch the clock or, or, or watch other... You, shit, you, the first thing you need to be doing is watching yourself. And that comes with that internal battle, man. You know? But that, that's it. That's you brothers got it. Yeah, like my brother was saying, one one, one, one uh, worldly example. How, how are you going to get money out of a bank if you're not putting in money? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, how... You, you can only get out what you put in. What you put in. If you put in the work, then you can get a return. You see? So all of, all of you out there who are not taking heed to the word and trying to stay connected to this, this world here, you, you're in for a rude awakening. Mm-hmm. Because you're, you have carnal confidence. You have confidence in, 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 in weapons or confidence in money or right. confidence in how much food or water you have stored up. Right. Now there has to be a balance because the Lord gives us wisdom as it just talked about in Ecclesiastes. Wisdom and money is a defense. But where's the faith? Right. You know, how wise are you being with that resource that you have? You know, but without faith, neither one of those are good. Right. It tells us in Psalms 46 and 1, the most high is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Right. We are in troubled times, man. So you yes. got to have present. It. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Present help. Present and accounted for. The Lord is on deck. The Lord is right here. So what are you doing to please him? What are you doing to serve him? Do you fear him? And then look how he put it up. He said, uh, 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 present and accounted, E.B., yeah. So hey, that, this is a living book. The Lord has always been there for us, and he's still there with us to this day. Uh-huh. He said, present and accounted. Huh. 
I had one just to back up with the brother, man, because, you know, you, you jakes, man, y'all. You, if you taking this thing for entertainment or you 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 listening, but you you so attached to this world, you don't you don't make no actions, no moves to to actually put forth uh, effort in this to, to 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 change yourself. And you know, I'm just gonna get right into the scriptures and let them talk. This is Habakkuk two and two, and the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it." Key word that he may run that readeth it, man. And I got the I got the uh, definition of run, man. And and this um this coming right out of the Google, the Google dictionary says to lock it to. It says put in service, to put in service, man. Can be be in change or of or manage, man. You got to do something now, man. And are we not stewards? Lord, we say we stewards of this house. Yeah, that's a gun. You got it. Right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, why, let me let me read. Let me read why 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 you need to, to make change and, and run and and do these things. Next verse gonna explain. Verse three: For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it surely come and it will not tarry. The coming of our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. To, to take us away from this place, man. And you you not taking heed, you're not putting it into service. You're not you not doing what you're supposed to do. It's gonna cause you to miss out on what, what the Lord has for his elect. Lord willing, we part of that number. It's gonna cause you to miss out. You won't have to take part of the of the carnal um baptism by fire what the brother was going into. You won't have to get your ass burnt up literally. And you're gonna feel that. Because the same shall know it death by pain. You know, we, we're wasting time, man. Food shortages, gas, you know, uh, hyperinflation is about to hit, uh, civil unrest. Martial law. Martial law. All, all of these things, sedition, you know, and 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 women are going to catch up, and men are going to catch up. Men are going to be fainting. Children. 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 Everybody. 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 Don't just think the mother and the father. No, shit. Hey, we're going we gonna to let the fear alone. We persuade men. Right. Shit, your children as well. And if you ain't got that that hedge of your by shimmy your shop around about you, man, man, you hey you shit, get ready. You gonna watch some shit happen to you, your kids, your family, your mother, your father, whoever that you cherish most that you put more in right, more effort into than the Lord, man. Right. You're gonna watch all that or whatever you put more effort into you, whatever your alcohol. You gonna watch all that shit just the, the, the deteriorate, man, before your fucking eyes, man. And though it be told to you, they shit, they won't take heed, man. That's right. They're stiff necked fucking people. We are stiff necked people, man. But hey, we we understand, man. Hey, shit. Hey, uh, what what they say? We're a uh, hard head, make a soft, soft ass. ass man. Shit. So hey, we harden ourselves in the fear of y'all by shooting y'all shot in the faith of y'all by shooting y'all shot to the best of our ability, man. And we give diligence, man. You know, constantly, daily, daily. This ain't no. Just when you see us making videos, you think that's just. No, this is this is this is our life, our culture. This is a, a cult, meaning right. your way of life, man. You look up the word online etymology, the word cult. This is our a way of worship, man. We worship Yahweh as 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 it is, man. Precept. You know, because you go into the word cult, it 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 it, it, it branches out to culture, mm -hmm. and what they say, black culture, and what our people do, they worship these fucking rappers, these actors, and shit that do nothing but what promote death. You know, I got they you. they live after they 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 they, they structure their life around what they hear on fucking uh, uh what they see on TV and what they hear on the radio. The black culture, but when we go into the, the this is a cult. I mean, our culture, the root word of culture is is cult. You know, it's meaning a form of worship, man. We worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, but they say, hey, in God we trust. What you say, I, Ronald Reagan said, this is the what? The law of the land. The law of the, the land. land. And everybody supposed to be God-fearing Christians and all that. You worship right. God and Jesus Christ and all that bullshit. That's a lot, man. It's hypocrite. But when the scriptures come out, when it's, everybody's a Christian, until, until the scriptures, the scriptures come, come out, until, the scriptures until it's come time out. to get down to the rules and regulations of what you're supposed to do, it's like, 
That don't fit with, you got that some don't kind fit of with my life right. yeah. I got that definition of culture for you. I pulled it up. Uh, That's the goat, you know. A kind right, of, and yeah. then get caught. Get caught first. Get caught first? Well, get culture and then get caught. Okay, let quick. me get culture. Real it says quick. this is. Are you, no, just no, 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 let me get to it real quick. Kind of, kind of, this is culture definition uh, from the Merriam Webster. Yeah. It says the customary beliefs, social forms, social forms. And material traits of a racial, religious, or social group. Or social group, man. And what's, the, and what's the call? They push on Jake black culture. And who pushing black culture? The rappers. You don't hear about no actors talking about black culture. All you hear about is the niggas that's talking about killing, bang, bang, fucking a bitch, putting a pill in the booty and a drink and all that old shit down and threesome, folsoms and all that old bullshit. Them the one tomorrow. It's the new culture. Look, look at the Migos. You know, you people familiar with the, the group Migo? What all they have? Culture one, culture two, culture three. The and what they talk? Go ahead. Uh. Next definition says also the characteristic features of everyday existence. The characteristic features of everyday existence. That goes into how you carry yourself. It goes into now black culture. Shit, dreads, dreads. Black culture, skinny jeans, faggots, faggots, pork, pork, that's weed, soul food, soul food. Disrespectful as hell. Right. B, see, look, just to break it down even further for the dumb, for the dumb people, uh -huh. it read the set of shared attitudes. The set of shared attitudes. How they share the attitude? By way of they, they, they entertainers. Right, uh, so how do you have people in one state, let's just say Atlanta, right, and then you have people in California right. conducting themselves in the same manner. They listen to the same songs. It's the vibrations. It's the frequencies and the tones. I almost got to read the codes because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. They don't know each other. They don't know each other. But they're putting this out there. And where the blood and trips originated from? California. California. But, but, and, but now you, you got this shit all up everywhere. And find a crib. Mm -hmm. Oh, blood. Oh, blood. Just laying back and off the bubble. That black culture, that shit manufactured. Right. Like, <laughs> bring it. Yeah, that's just right. something manufactured because in America. Uh, <laughs> the made in America. Made in America. Made in America. Made in America. Well, you know, that it goes into PSYOPs, Sedgwick programs, yeah. MK Ultra. Yep. That's what that goes into. Yep. Yep. Why yep. bass of MK Ultra, too, though. Mm -hmm. And they, they using that. That's the main right, source yeah. of it. The fucking television. That's the MK Ultra right there. Yeah. They have, they have Programming. A lot of time, money, and effort regularly into regularly. removing you far from your power. Regularly. Keeping regularly. you removed. Uh -huh. so, you know, that, that, that's a manufactured uh, uh, culture. And just like the black people say, you know, they push it by way of those rappers, first and foremost. And they drown they they drown they drowning your ass in it because they're yeah. constantly coming out with. All they promote all these new rappers that's talking about the same thing, bullshit, 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 more bullshit, in a different way of bullshit. And they just drowning and drowning the youth with it. You got no, you, you gonna drown. If you constantly get in the way, you can't, you, you, even if you can swim, if the waves just hitting your ass hard and rocking your ass back, you gonna drown. Oh. You don't fuck how good you can swim. If the waves is just that's flooding and pushing them, pushing them, pushing them, tight way just push, you gonna drown. That's you why we and that knowledge should be the stability because you need stability to withstand the yep. waves, man. Your foundation. Your foundation. Which is that rock. That rock. Yeah. How, was, how about some other shot? Definition of cult. I got to read. A religion regarded as unorthodox or spurious. Right. Also, well, verse 2, it says, A great devotion to a person, idea, object, movement, right. or work. Right. Verse uh, B, an object of such as devotion. See, a union. And this is our devotion right here, man, to you. How shot our reasonable service. Being Israelites. First, hey, number three, a system of religious beliefs right. and ritual. And I see this system right here is not a pit. This system right here gets you out of the pit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. These law, statute, commandments are life, man. God, the man. fear in Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shah and the faith in Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shah is life, man. Yeah. Life everlasting. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen to this, man. This is spirit. It says a system for the cure of disease. Hold based. on. What? Oh, hold up. <laughs> hold on. Uh, and, uh, and what the scriptures say, our people are sick, sick man. man. And what this, this, this is the cure right here. This word is the cure. Sick in mind. This is the cure. 
Hey, you, you brothers got it. You yeah. brothers got it. It says a system it. for the cure of disease based on dogma. Do oh, my goodness. Here we go. Set forth by its promulgate. 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 Promulgate meaning put forth by the person that the promulgator. Matter of fact, let me get that word right there. Okay. Promote meaning put forth. Promote or make widely known. There you go. And Esau is the one. He's the one promoting all this death, man. Black culture. All these different things, man. Go ahead, dog. Come on, let me, 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 let Fifteen? Is it sixteen? That's eighteen. Eighteen and where we at here? Uh, Twenty twenty. Yeah. Examine thyself uh, before judgment. Examine thyself. But the point being right here, humble thyself before thou be sick. Mm -hmm. And that's just what the brother said. Sick in the head. Sick in the head with all this dogma, mm -hmm. and all these this wine, this, this yeah. doctrine, this philosophies. You see, and and, and that's it. If you're not examining yourself, man, if you don't fear the Lord, hmm, if you're not calling upon the rightful name, you sit. Right. Sick. And what the scriptures say in, uh, in, in that same, in the Apocrypha, in uh, Ecclesiastes and Surah, mm -hmm. examine thyself before thou be sick. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sit right. to what? Uh, <laughs> what happens when you get sick and you don't got a cure for it? Shit, you die. You die. <laughs> you die. Uh, this is our coat, man. Our this cure right, for right. disease. So, this is it. This is it. This this is that cure for being sick in the damn head right here. A system for the cure of disease based on dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you sick. You sick all right. And that and that that it's on doctor. They read what what where you read that from? The Merriam Webster. The Merriam Webster of cult. Yeah. Oh, they control it all. Two on one. And just to, so just, to, just to get the definition of dogma for those that don't know, a teaching mm -hmm. of blind faith. Uh, I mean, no, you can go to, to, to And are, are people right. not you blind? Two, and start at two. And what, three, no, one. Yeah. 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 And and one, said, one, what's the scripture uh, where it said the blind lead the blind? They should all, yeah, they should both fall in the ditch, man. Yeah. Really? Our, people, our people are blind to the, to the fact, man. Yeah. They don't want to see it. You know. And, and bagging what the brothers are saying about that sick uh, uh, group of people, which we call our nation, you know, to my two thirds of our people, you know, this is this wisdom, was, wisdom of Solomon two and one. It says, "For the ungodly said reasoning with themselves, but not a right out mm -hmm. reasoning with themselves." Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 bring this truth to them. You know, what I'm saying to their own understanding. Yeah, they lean into their own understanding. They read them with themselves. You know, to my, you know, they they'll say little slick shit like, you know, uh, that's uh, that's gonna happen to my my grandbabies. You know, to my, that's not gonna happen at my time. You know, to my we talking about old Jakes and Jakeettes all the way down to the t to 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 young Jakes and Jakeettes. Go ahead, up. It says, it says, but not right. Our life is short. And tedious, short and tedious. Yep. Go ahead, right. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. No remedy. What, they ain't, you see, they don't consider these scriptures. Uh, the brother just brought it out. You know, because what what you said again in, in the uh, Ecclesiastes? Examine thyself before you get you get sick. Yeah. Before yeah. you come sick. Humble thyself. And what, they, what's the remedy? These scriptures. Mm -hmm. These scriptures. Do you know? Say, um, if you tend to these scriptures, you you turn into life. Right. Anything else outside of this right here, you know what I'm saying, is, is death. Read um, uh, 2. Go ahead, I'll read that. It says, neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Now, that's a lie. We, we know Yahweh shot. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'll. It says, for we are born at all adventure. Now, and mind you, this is a, this is the word of a two-thirds speaking. I mean, you know, this is the mindset of a two-thirds being, being brought forth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'll. And we shall be... Hereafter, as though we had never been, for the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart, which being extinguished, our bodies shall be turned into ashes. Mm -hmm. Go jump over real quick. Go to, uh, 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 let's see. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. 
This is uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 10 uh, and my earth is ashes. Come. Oh, let me see. Let me see. And this just nine. Go ahead. Up. Why is earth and ashes proud? Uh, did you not come up the earth? Ain't that what this flesh made of? Mm -hmm. Earth. But what you proud about? You, you, you follow what I'm saying? You, you, you know, you because you, it basically just going into that yolo spirit. We only live once come on. type of deal. So we're gonna live our life to the fullest. Come you know, on. We would have we would have went through that if we just kept reading. But I want to make a point, being that you know, today's Jake, you can't tell them shit because of that manufactured culture that's been given to them. You know, that byproduct, and, and they yeah, and they and they believe in that and this deal with what, what it's called hell. They believe this, mm -hmm. so they you know guess what? Ain't nothing you can tell them tell them that's gonna change and persuade them. You know, they are spiritually locked out. You know, mm -hmm. you know, uh, of the gifts of the, uh, and, and the promises and the chair and the things of the Most High Yahweh on this side. Only the one third gonna get this. So it's like beating a dead horse. Put it out. Ain't gonna touch you up. It says, there is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man, for such at so for such and one set as his own soul to sell, because while he lives, he casts away his bowels. Look at that. Sell his soul. And we know that's that's one of the uh, 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 things that's done when you come over to this great land with that Revelation 18, where even men's souls are for sale. And what we're talking about, these rappers. These entertainers and whatnot. Sell out, so a bunch of sell outs. And you can't serve the most high man. Imagine, man. You know, uh, the world of uh, riches. Uh, uh, you know. All right, let me go back to this. Uh, no, that, was, that was it. Uh, it says back in uh, so Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 3, yeah. which being extinguished our body oh, shall. Okay, come on. It says, which being extinguished our body shall be turned into ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. And our name shall shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance, and our light shall pass away as a trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist. Ain't nothing great about it. Nothing great about it. They just, hey, we're going to do what we're going to do right here and now. Basically, you follow what I'm saying? That's the ungodly. The ungodly. Because the only name that matters is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Your name going to be forgotten, just like you. Just like you. You perceive it to be because this is the mind of the ungodly. You're going to be forgotten. What we reading about? We reading about men of, of, of renown from back in the ancient days or whatnot. Okay. Their names are still real and reverberating right here in the, in the present day. That's right. Let's go ahead. Um, I got a precept too. At, at, uh, you know, I'm going to get it. All right. It says, And our name shall be forgotten in the time when no man shall have our works in remembrance. And uh, your Jay Z's, your Kevin Gates, your Boosters, and all that. Yeah, this is real. This is, hey, the ungodly say how they, they actually show it. They ain't got to say what they act. They think they're going to be made immortal. Michael Jackson, all this shit. That, when we get in the kingdom, ain't nobody going to be talking about no motherfucking Michael Jackson. Oh, they ain't even talking about Michael Jackson. Nah, boy. Like, oh, he was great and all that. Yeah, the motherfucker can dance. He made some good music. But we on your hard by shit. Y'all was shot. That's right. Uh, 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 Moses, Noah, the prophets of old. David. Man. Uh, 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 Elijah, uh, Elisha, uh, David, huh? Samuel. You know, shit. All these we, we on them. Uh, uh, Ezekiel, Daniel, mm -hmm. Jeremiah, Isaiah, uh, Zechariah. Uh, you know, Luke, Apple. Mark, uh, Paul. The name was Saul, but Paul. Oh. Simeon, name was Simeon, but changed to Peter. Oh, you know, all the, we, John. All, man, we on them. We get the wisdom of the shit. old. Yeah, hey, how was shot? Yeah, how was? Oh, you know, he's he used to be. Yeah, I was shocked. The one. Shit. Yeah, the one. The Neo. <laughs> it says, and our light shall pass away as the trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the of the sun, and overcome with the heat thereof. And it's gonna be overcome with the heat thereof. Hey, when when the Lord come back, he's gonna take this whole system, everything in the system is, is, is uh, propagated. And that you said, propagate, propagate, put forth and, and elevated. Mm -hmm. Hey man, Lord, when he come, they gonna put all. Hey, they shall build. But, hey, but throw shall down. Throw down. Throw That's what the Lord is coming to do to throw down this wicked ass system cesspool, man. Yeah. All right, it says for our time is as a very shadow that passes away, and it's the this man. This is wicked, man. It says and after our end, there is no re returning, for it is fast sealed. So that no man comes again. 
It says, Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. Oh, rejoice and be glad, O oh, daughters of Edom. And two thirds of our people, because your reputation in this society, the two thirds of our people, it's not going to carry over. You're going to have your head put down. And your head going to be put down in the kingdom. Your uh, reputation over here is going to be a shame unto you in the, the kingdom, kingdom to come. Uh, was you LeBron? Come on. It says, Come on, therefore. Let us enjoy the good things that are present and let us speedily use the creature life as in the youth. Mm -hmm. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine. What you see on these music videos, what you see on these different movies and shit, getting fucked up, partying, and just, just oh, getting wasted. With the finest. And, 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 and them Botox commercials, they want to stay forever young and all that old type shit. Come. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It say, let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointment. And let no flower of the spring pass in the bar. And that experience every day. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, with the women, shit. They, they all in the, 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 these women, you know, they all in the clubs and everywhere just shaking their ass. And, and some of them getting fucked on their periods, man. Yes. They all in the club shaking ass and shit like that on their periods. Here and all. Had shit, shit sticking out, got down their shorts. Sliding out. You know, they the getting fucked with period on and shit. Nasty motherfuckers, yeah. man. It says, let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be with it. And that rosebud goes into what? No responsibility. There you go. Come, come. Lack of responsibility, lack of cares. Come, come, come. Yeah. come. And that's, that's, that's the majority of uh, our, our Jake mindset, man. They don't fucking care. Yeah, that's like you say, you know, the lack of responsibility. That's why Jake acts like a big child now. Mm -hmm. Anything goes, when these people go in there and, and those chambers and those, those Senate houses and, and Congress and, and even in your state, uh, a, a local uh, lawmakers, they don't give a damn about what them people up there arguing about, none of that. Whatever they put out, they down with it. They just, Jake just happened to just have a little piece of job so he can plan his weekend. Yeah. Oh, I got the comfort to hit the club. I'm working hard all week. Niggas. Niggas. I got no Everybody, y'all, we're gonna wrap up. I, I, like I got one, two. Let me get mine real quick. I'll get the bathroom real quick, and y'all got it, then we're gonna wrap up. This, uh, this Proverbs 10 and 7, it said, The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. Listen, this is the memory of the just is blessed. This, we listen, we, the brother, I can, the I can just bring out all the, the names of the ancient, the renowned men, everybody, everybody, and even, even these wicked. Slap you Even these wicked ass heathens try to take and smear it and liken it onto themselves. Cause why? Cause they righteous men. They were upright men. Mm -hmm. They make movies about them and put their faces up there. You know what I'm talking about? Name children now. Yeah, name their children after them or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But they wicked ass. What's what's happening to them? They right now. They they, 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 they snatch their statues down mm -hmm. and whatnot. The truth comes out about Prince Columbus and all the little bullshit he was doing and and Magellan. All you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. This shit gonna follow you, and two thirds of our people, just like that brother said, you know, you gonna have your head down in the kingdom for for the wicked shit you did on this side. That's a cause to, to everything. Mm -hmm. So like, go ahead. Out. And like some just said, they they gotten their consolation on this side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, so it's not gonna carry over no more rollover minutes. Uh -huh. No, that's no, no, no. What the scripture says? Right. He that he that um, was first shall be last, right. and they that last shall be first. Mm -hmm. Man, we taking the short end of the stick. Man, we we, we on the shitty end Shit. of the stick. Uh, literally, because we on the tail end, the ass end. The when ass. we want to do the running. All that pressure when they see you sit down, all that pressure go to your ass. Who who came out first? Esau came out first. Yeah. Who came out that? Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. Holding on to his heel, mm -hmm. bringing him down. Yeah. yeah. I ain't got no I ain't got no this is Amos chapter six. Verse 1, it says, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of nations, to whom the house of Israel came. And you know, just uh, what 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 y'all was just going into. Israel, goddamn, they they don't give a damn. They 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 this they 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 want they they want this to be it, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They at ease here, man. You know, they they shit. They YOLO. Yeah. I don't give a damn. Fuck it. That's right, bro. They hear the truth. Man, y'all crazy. Man. I don't want to hear that, man. You know, I, I'm about to. Sick! Fucking sick, man. Yeah, at ease, man. They truly believe in it. Offering it all. And you don't want, not want life. You want to die. The life. Shit, they don't want the cure, basically. They don't want it. They, they, they want to suffer. Yeah. 
with no remedy for him. He just has the remedy. I don't know if I get a motherfucking uh, a head cold or a chest cold or some type of ache or some, man, I want that shit to go away. Mm-hmm. I want the head ache. They want the, the, the sickness, the aches, the body pains. Now, bro, let me get these two last ones real quick. Oh, oh, oh. One two, which your brothers are talking about. This is uh, Matthew 16 and 4. A wicked and adulterous generation mm-hmm. seeketh after a sign, right. and there shall no signs be given unto it. Right. They sick, man. Mm-hmm. You know, YOLO, living life to the fullest. You got mugs right here, gas prices up, coming out with cartons of cigarettes. Most planted vacations, fireworks stands still popping up. You know they're able to go to the drive-through. Right. You know all over all, all over uh, social media, still living life to the fullest. Mm. Right. And this is where we are. This is Matthew also the twenty-fourth chapter. Hamashiach mm-hmm. Yahushua speaking, our Lord and Savior. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself mm. and take up his cross. And follow me for whosoever Israel not everybody will save his life shall lose it and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it for what is a man profited if he will if he shall gather the whole world and lose his own soul that's these mugs on the 18 all these entertainers athletes you know giving it up Got gag orders, got a receipt on them, can't talk. Mm-hmm. They're locked up, right? Receipts. That's right. But you love you and just gave up. You your just soul. gave up your salvation mm-hmm. as if you're an Israelite. Mm-hmm. And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Hey, you got some money, you got some cars, you got some hoes, you got a house, drugs. you got fame, drugs, whatever, your consolation on this side. Right, and that goes like what what can a man give you in exchange for your damn soul? Man? Every damn thing. You telling me this motherfucker? Yeah. This house you can learn how to build or get somebody to build, but you you gonna fame and status and these women, these hoes, right. you gonna give up your soul for that? A bitch that might be burning this shit. What can a man give you for an exchange for your soul, man? A contract for a uh, hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars. You know, that shit, ain't backed by shit. If you if you make if you make this many albums this right. year. Are these many free throws or when they, or, yeah. or or you rap about this. You rap about sex, drugs, money, right. guns, and violence. That's what he just brought up to that man. A hundred million dollars. Fucking another dude. Woman. Fucking another yeah. man's woman. And this right Fucking here. another man. Right. Yeah, for that for, yeah, for that A-team status. And this goes right into those that are not or that have given up their soul for these uh, carnal uh, oh, uh, dainty treats. Dainty treats. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father mm-hmm. with his angels, mm-hmm. and then, talking all you knuckleheads, mm-hmm. he shall reward every man according to his works. Mm-hmm. Not according to your damn slam dunks, right. your touchdowns, right. your hockey pucks, yep. none of that. And Lord, I ran a thousand yards last year. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here, Lord, we are hopefully of those men, yeah, which yeah, shall right. not taste of death. That second death, the elect will not taste of that second death. Right. Because hey, even though the, the, some of the elect going to be mortals, that's not you done. That's, that's not just second death. Rest. That, yeah, right. Quick right. rest. Because yeah. the scripture tell you in 2 Thessalonians that the elect that, that, that go on this side, they're going to be the first ones on the And then yeah. the ones that still, they're going to get dinged up. Come. So they come right. up. They that's, always fall. That's some, uh, that's honorable. Very yeah. top honor. Man, the Lord came and got you personally? Right. Like you said, you died for the Lord? Well, you died for the Lord, yeah. The witnesses of the Lord. You died for the Lord, bro. And then you just like the brother said, it's like a, they just sleep. And when you go to sleep, it's like, when you wake, you up, wake up. It's like, I'm up. You know? Right, that's right. Quick. It'll be like a dream. Like a dream, yeah. like, damn, what the hell? Mm-hmm. So with that, you know, we hope this uh, sit down was was edifying uh-huh. and you know to the point we we'll got into some stuff. You know, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Rakakodash. Once again, devil honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hope of the elect scattered abroad. And Lord willing, this was edifying. So Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.
Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. Bobble Ball. Bobble Ball. DTA. DTA. DTA? DTA. Oh, okay. ETA?